As Governor Perry is sworn in for an historic third term today, his return to office will also come with the return to the original governor's mansion sometime next year. Kate Weidel joining us live to talk about the rebuilding of that historic mansion. Morning. Hey, good morning, Sally. You know, as thousands of people come down to the state capitol today, chances are they're just going to look across the street to see the governor's mansion that is still covered in scaffolding because crews have been working on it for several months. But as a result of the fire, crews have actually discovered some very interesting things. It may not look like it now with all the scaffolding around, but we are making good progress. When you take a closer look through all of the construction materials, you'll find the once white mansion is now back to its original natural brick. The mansion for first 15, I think, years of its life had this unpainted brick, so it's kind of back the way it used to look when it was first built. But in order to see the original brick, crews had to strip 22 layers of paint off the building. And they found some interesting colors over the years. But there were like cranberry red colors and rust colors and tans and browns and grays. The Texas Preservation Board is overseeing the project and took us on a tour of the renovations. It's easy to see why it could take a while when you have to salvage each brick since it's a historic structure. Well, to, you know, remove brick piece by piece and chip off the mortar and clean the soot off and then put it back in place. Repairing the brick, wood trim, windows and roof is just the first step. We'll have to put the new roof on, which will go on in April before the interior can really start in earnest. The inside shouldn't be as daunting since all the furnishings, lights and doors were removed for a maintenance project prior to the fire. The staircase was protected from the fire thanks to a thermal insulation which is still on the stairs. Many of the walls need plaster replaced and the house will get new electrical wiring. But once it's completed in the spring of 2012, everything you see in this video will be able to go back into place just like it appeared before the fire. Uh, disaster though it was, uh, it could have been a lot worse. So in addition to all the work on the outside, they are going to be building on a 1,500 square foot extension onto the back. That's where the kitchen and a little bit of living space is going to be housed. They are going to be doing the interior work too. Both of those projects right now go into the bidding process this week. But Sally, they are really hopeful to have the governor back in that house by next year. So we'll see what happens. All right, it will be nice, Kate. Such a beautiful thing that went up in flames too. I remember that day like it was yesterday. Yeah. It really does seem like yesterday. All right, Kate, thank you so much. We'll see you back here in a few minutes.